Hello, today I would like to discuss periodicals. A periodical is a type of publication that is published on a regular or periodic basis, such as a newspaper, magazine, or journal. As you are doing your research, you will encounter different types of periodical publications. Each type of periodical has a specific purpose, a target audience, and special characteristics. Sometimes it's hard to classify a periodical because it may have a characteristic of more than one type. This tutorial will provide some general criteria to help you distinguish between scholarly journals, trade journals, and popular magazines. Learning to distinguish between the different periodical types is an important part of evaluating and selecting your resources when doing research. Let's consider the following criteria to help determine the periodical type. Appearance, audience, author or authority, citations, and content. First, let's look at scholarly journals. They usually have plain covers and pages, consecutive page numbers throughout each volume. They contain little or no advertising, however they may have ads for conferences, job openings, or professional publications. Sometimes it has the journal of in the title, and its intended audience is researchers, scholars, experts, professionals, or university and college students and faculty. The authors are experts in their field and the credentials are provided. Usually it includes an abstract or summary of the article, and the content is considered scholarly and adds to the body of research, presents new ideas, explores theories, invites discussion, and provides research findings. The articles are often lengthy and may contain original research that includes a methodology section, theory discussion, and research and literature reviews. They contain a works cited or bibliography page. The article language is usually includes technical terminology and jargon that's related to the discipline. They're published by professional or scholarly organizations or research inst institutes or academic presses. The articles usually go through a peer review process, which means a panel of experts evaluated the article before publication. Now for trade journals. The cover is usually on a glossy paper and articles can include pictures and illustrations in color. Its intended audience is for people in the specific trade or industry or those seeking employment in those trades. The authors are field or industry specialists or expert staff writers. Author credentials are often provided. The content can include industry trends and forecasts and new products or techniques. The content may also include original industry research and terminology and jargon of the specific trade. The purpose is to provide practical information and news in an industry or profession and to keep the readers informed. Trade journals can contain a modern amount of ads that are directed to the trade or industry. The articles go through editorial review and sources may be mentioned but not formally documented like in a works cited or bibliography page. They're published by trade or professional organizations or corporate and com commercial presses. Moving on to popular magazines. They usually have an eye-catching cover on glossy paper with lots of color pictures and illustration. Each issue starts with page one. It's intended for the general public and for non-professionals. The authors are often freelance writers, staff writers, or journalists with articles, and they're often unsigned. The purpose of these magazines is to make money, sell advertisements, and subscriptions. They're also for providing information and entertainment to a wide audience. Content can include information about popular culture, personalities, news, and general topics, and it's written in an informal way. It does not usually include primary research, and the language geared, is geared towards a more general audience. There's usually a heavy amount of advertisement in these types of magazines. They're published by commercial presses or special interest groups. The articles will go through an editorial review and they may mention sources or use unidentified sources. There's no bibliography or works cited information. I hope that you have found this tutorial on periodical types helpful. If you need help, call the library at 406 
657-1662 or send us an email. Thanks for watching.